We are back where top alcohol dragsters are ready to fire here. Texas Motorplex race 13 of 16 on the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. We said Bob Fry, I'm Dave Reef, Lauren Stauffer. Happy to bring you all the action from what's been a very curious weekend to say the least, but it's finishing on the exact right now. Yep, well, the supercharged car getting set to go. Everybody I talked to in the pits was buzzing about this car. That 521 just came out of nowhere in that last round. Huge speed, almost 277 miles an hour. Marty Thacker looking to pick up his second win of the season. Ironically, he's never done that in his national event career. He's riding a pretty good win streak there. He's won his last four national event final rounds. And it's certainly worth noting, too, that he's taking on a 21-year-old kid trying to pick up his first national event win. There's some butterflies going on there. Like I said, Chase Copeland got rave reviews from everybody that I spoke to. He's got a pretty good race car. As we all know, the key for the injected cars in the final round, it gets a little bit warmer out there. You've got to keep enough pressure on them, enough load on the motor to keep all eight cylinders firing. They've done that in only two of their three rounds. They had a pretty good first round, stumbled a bit in the second round, went back to the tune-up that they had used earlier in the weekend. And then they came out and just lowered the boom on everybody. They just freight train Jim Whiteley in that semifinal round. So the key, will you see that car lit all the way down the racetrack? You saw Spencer Matthew. You know, he's involved with that. Drove that car top alcohol dragster before moving on to the fuel cars. There's a good look at the Auto Club Rookie of the Year from a couple of years ago that used to drive this machine, guiding the 21-year-old Chase Copeland into the beam. Yep, and the kid's got some great mentors there, the contemporary there. And Spencer Massey, and of course, one of the legends, and Gene Snow over there. All right, here we go. Chase Copeland, another 520, 523, 275 miles an hour. That is an exclamation point finish for top alcohol drags. Let me tell you, Marty Thacker just goes 537, and he wasn't in that thing. Off the starting line, Chase slightly better, and that's pretty good for the eight fuel car. They just started the idle, really load them up in the uh, alcohol supercharged cars. Copeland runs 227 at the eighth mile. That is an outstanding run, and yes, indeed, it hit on all eight cylinders all the way down the racetrack. Now we have 16 different top alcohol dragster drivers in the history of the Motorplex as Chase Copeland becomes a first-time winner. Lauren, you got him. This is your first ever win, Chase Copeland. You just said Marty is so tough. How tough was this win this weekend? Oh, well, after the weekend we've had, it, it was rough. We needed this. Now the car is running. Maybe we can go to a couple more races, but Gene, he's got this thing on kill for the weekend. After the weekend we had last weekend, we burned up almost everything we had. So me and Spencer and Chris and everybody at the shop worked all week trying to get everything ready and come to the track, and this is what ended up. It's, it's amazing. You mentioned Spencer, and obviously you're talking about Spencer Massey. What kind of words of wisdom has he given you since he obviously has raced in the top fuel class? He just says keep it calm, collective, keep everything under your head, and just kind of keep everything going and smooth. He said that's the way things work. Don't think about anything, just react. So it's, he's, real, he's been a real big help. Looks like you sure did. Great ETs this weekend. 